we've endorsed Dr. Oz. We've endorsed JP, right? J.D. Mandel. And he's doing great. They're all doing good. They're all doing good. That was Donald Trump at a rally in Nebraska over the weekend. And he seems to have forgotten who he endorsed in Ohio Senate GOP primary. It's J.D. Vance, not J.P. Mandel. And I should also note that Mandel happens to be J.D. Vance's political opponent. But that moment was, I'm not gonna lie, pretty delicious. Because while we keep hearing, and I think it's accurate to, to state that Biden has all sorts of lapses in his memory and all sorts of embarrassing moments. I mean, he referred to Javier Becerra as Javier Bacaria, not a good look. Fact of the matter is we're dealing with political figures who simply should not be running the country, should not be running for president. And we're gonna keep running into these issues over and over again. Donald Trump might be more boisterous. He might carry himself as someone who's far more secure or far more confident than than Biden. But at the end of the day, he makes all sorts of gaffes like this, all sorts of mistakes like this. And I'm sure that J.D. Vance didn't like the fact that he accidentally spoke well of his opponent during this rally. But I just wanna go to one quick tweet, which I loved from Judd Legum, a wonderful progressive journalist. He says, J.D. Vance completely abandoned everything he said he believed in to secure Trump's endorsement and Trump can't even remember his name. Well, at the end of the day, as we all know, Trump looks out for Trump. And so that JD Vance, Josh Mandel, tomato, tomato, who cares? He's having fun. Yeah, and um, so look, there's two parts of the story. Uh, one is uh, Trump himself, um, uh, right wingers, you got a choice. Uh, either he's so lazy, he didn't bother remembering uh, the person <laughs> who he endorsed and who he wanted to plug. Or he's a buffoon and he's like, I don't know what their names are. Who cares? Let's just bungle it. Let's just smear it all over my face. JD, JP, Vance, Mendel. Oh, that's the other guy's name? Combined with my guy's name? Combined with a butchery of the English language? <laughs> right? And right, we're gonna just look at that and go, nailed it. I mean, all right, whatever. Or he has dementia. And he just, then I feel bad, he just can't remember anything. TV, camera, man, woman, JP, Mandel, Vance, I don't know, JD, I can't, Confefe, I don't know. Okay, so either he has dementia or he's a moron and a lazy moron. Those are your two choices, because this is not a small thing, guys. This is not a small thing. He's doing a rally to push those candidates. And there's tons of money, prestige, and his credibility on the line, okay? Uh, and then the second thing is, why are politicians so old? Why are there so many politicians in power that are 200 years old? That answer for you in a little bit, but Anna, back to you for now. Yeah, I, I listen, why should the right wing get to have all the fun with conspiracy theories? Why don't we have our own fun with our own conspiracy theories? And so you say there's only two options, you stated what they are very clearly. I would argue there are three options. The third option that you didn't mention is that Maybe Trump did this on purpose. Maybe this is retaliation for all the criticism that J.D. Vance had put out there in regard to Donald Trump when he was running for president in 2016. Maybe this is the strike back that he's been waiting for. <laughs> of course not, and that would require two minutes of thought. That's true. And there's no way that Donald Trump has the capacity to think for two minutes straight. Um, so. It, by the way, if you're wondering why is Trump backing J.D. Vance when J.D. Vance earlier had not only called him an idiot, but potentially America's Hitler, uh, let alone the morals of J.D. Vance, who then turned around and was like, "Oh, America's Hitler's endorsing me. I love it." Okay, that tells you all you need to know about J.D. Vance. And Josh Mandel is arguably more conservative and more nuts than J.D. Vance. Everybody's paying attention to this race because of Trump and you got these two lunatics saying nonstop insane things. But the reality is there is no difference of who the Republicans pick. Both J.D. Vance and Josh Mandel are full blown nut jobs, insane right wingers. They will vote almost identical. They will say things that are nearly identical. They're just having fun as to who's gonna have the bigger ego when they win, right? But the reason Trump is backing the guy who hated him 
instead of the guy who's more conservative is because Peter Thiel put in a million dollars to Donald Trump in 2016. But this time he put in $10 million to JD Vance. So Peter Thiel is a very conservative right winger in Silicon Valley. And Trump sees the money and thinks, mm, when I run for president again, apparently Peter's got a lot of money. If I back his candidates, maybe I'll get some of that green. So that's how this game is played, okay? Now to answer the question of why it seems like every politician is 200 years old. Because this actually does not apply to Trump. Um, it applies to corporate Republicans and Democrats, Mitch McConnell, Pelosi, Schumer, Biden, you name it, right? Um, it's because donors like a return on investment and a safe bet. So both Nancy Pelosi and Mitch McConnell and almost all of the corporate Republicans, which are about 99% of the Republican Party, have proven that they can deliver for donors, that when the donors bribe them, they get a good investment back. Well, they don't want to risk it on a new guy. They don't know the new guy. Maybe the new guy doesn't give them everything he want. They what they want for the bribe, but they know the older politicians will deliver exactly what they said to the donors. And what did Biden, for example, say to the donors? He said nothing would fundamentally change, and that is the one promise that he has kept. That is why they keep giving to older politicians. That is why they have the money and the power to crush the younger candidates and keep winning elections. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.